So what we do is I lead a research institute of human behavior change. For those of you who are trying to change people in organizations, here's a piece of advice. Organizations don't change. Cultures don't change. People change inside of organizations. If you want to change one of your old familiar practices or behaviors, it's tough. Why in the hell don't people do what they're supposed to do when they know what they're supposed to do? People are the critical dimension of your success, and the question is, how do you navigate that? How do you build that rich, authentic, vulnerable network in your life? How do I make people feel good about themselves today? How do I take my mission and find other people who could share that mission today? Leadership is not about you. It's about your ability to unleash the competency and the interdependency of the team with each other. And when you walk into your staff meeting, have you created a team that won't let each other fail? That's your job. All relationships that you have that are critical for your success are on you. People don't change for themselves more than they'll change for each other. At the core of your DNA is you want to be in the tribe. As a result of that, you will change for the tribe because once you have a human connection to another person, it's so rarefied in this day and age. Once you know that somebody has your back, once you know that someone's giving you feedback because they care about you, once you know that you've enlisted and we're going to go take that hill together, right? Once you have that connection to another individual, you'll do anything to stay connected to that individual and you don't want to let them down. The key is we recognize that inside of all of us, I think is greatness. I think extraordinary things and we need other people to pull them out. The good news is that you are hardwired to have better relationships. The, the key for us in our success today in the world is not necessarily to figure out new stuff, but it's to tap back in to who we are as humans and to the DNA of who we are in order to really connect. It's to get out of our own way. Choose to care today. Don't try to be liked. I've spent most of my life trying to be liked. It didn't work that great networking and great relationships are born from generosity and authenticity, right? Not what you can get out of somebody, but what you can give. The critical bridge to relationship is empathy. Empathy is what creates us. Empathy is created through vulnerability, through authenticity, through care. And your ability to create care is as simple as sharing your humanity. And if you walk around the world creating an environment around yourself that invites people in, to be generous to them, you will have extraordinary success. I think those are the basic principles. People are critical and go help them. And yet we tend to distance ourselves and say, well, I don't want to play that game. And I'm like, that game you're talking about is life. Your capacity to persuade is going to be your mark of success.